Yes, you guys are looking at the brand new 2024 Chevy Blazer EV. This doesn't look like any Blazer you've seen before because Chevy has actually given us something that takes in some of the design language from the Camaro and the Corvette. I was able to fly down to Detroit uh, thanks to the guys at Chevy to check this vehicle out for the very first time. Wasn't able to drive it, but this is what you're looking at here. Now, it comes in four variants. There is the 1LT, there is the 2LT, there is RS and the SS. The vehicle you're looking at is the SS variant of the Chevy Blazer EV. And it's got, like I said, just really nice, unique style all around. You've got LED headlights here. You've got a massive, uh, of course, moonroof or sunroof, whatever you want to call it, uh, there, and half of that roof kind of opens up, the other half does not. Now, the LED lights are really interesting in front because they do a lot of information for you. So, it, so you're walking away from the car, it tells you that it dims down and tells you the car is locked. It also shows you when your car is charging and changes color into blue as well, which is very nice. Now, this vehicle is built off the GM Ultimum platform, so there's a lot of flexibility to that. And the SS model comes with some very nice specific specs. It's all wheel drive. You've got 557 horsepower as well as also 648 pounds of torque and a zero to 60 in four seconds. So it's a really fast vehicle. Can't wait to actually test drive it to see how it is uh, in that regard. Now when you open it up, you can see the style and we've got this red and black interior. That's something that comes on the assets package. Uh, I do kind of like it though. Um, but when you sit down, you know, the first thing you see of course is your, you know, your main display, uh, which is your direct display for the driver. And you also have a heads up display. That's about, about seven inches or so. And the entertainment display or the big display, 17.7 inches, massive display. I actually love that thing because of one new key feature. Now we all know that a lot of these displays, uh, if you want to change the volume, you got to kind of tap through. There is a volume dial. There's a physical dial on there. And I think that is fantastic. The other thing you notice with the interior is as you look around, you're going to see also the different types of uh, the vents. The vents are something that are very Chevy unique. Also the styling with that. You've got wireless charging pad and then the center console itself doesn't have um, you know, storage underneath, but there is storage, which we just couldn't access at that time, where you can actually put your stuff into there. Now there's a lot of seat there as seat room for, you know, the driver and the passenger here. I felt very comfortable in, with the amount of space there. Plus you've got heated and vented seats as well. And when you move to the rear, there's also enough space. I am six feet too. So again, there's enough space as a passenger in the back of the car. And you've also got two USB-C charging ports. I kind of like all that's coming in there. It's a lot nice headroom again for passengers in the back seat. Now, when it comes to the trunk, there's a lot of space in the trunk. Um, not as big as I would like, but of course you can drop those seats down as well. And in terms of a frunk, there is no frunk. So we're able to open that up to check that out with this vehicle. Now, some other things you'll find is, of course, when it comes to charging. Now, this supports 11.5 kilowatts level two AC charging and also 190 kilowatts DC charging. So all those DC fast chargers, yes, you can actually access them. Uh, and it, it can give you 78 miles of range with just 10 minutes of charging. So if you're running really low, find a DC fast charger, 10 minutes, you're up and running with this car. Uh, fully automated fast charging port, which is on the left side in front of the driver side of the car. So that gives you full access to all your charging uh, capabilities. Now, there also will be the My Chevy app, which will give you all the different charging ports access to those. You also have regen braking in the car and of course the available presence lift gate. So basically you don't have to put your foot or press a button. Once you come to the back of the car, it actually opens up. Super Cruise is available in the car so you can actually do some of that self-driving, especially when you're on the highway. Now, Chevy does say that owners will also have access to the Ultimate Charge 360 network, as well as also 10,000 public chargers uh, available within the US and Canada. Now, you guys are wondering, what's the pricing and availability? So the 2024 Chevy Trailblazer EV 2LT and RS will go on sale in the summer of 2023. Now, that, the 2LT starts at 47500 and 95 while the RS goes on sale at 51,995. 
then the SS, which you're seeing in this video, will go and sell for 65,995. And then in 2024, the 1LT, which is the base model, will come in at uh, Q1 at 44,995. So it starts off at 44,995 and goes all the way up to uh, 65,995 for the SS model. So my big question to you guys is what do you think about these vehicles? Uh, let me know your thoughts. And if you wanna see more auto videos like this, stay tuned on the channel because we're covering more EVs, more automotives for you. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.